Yeah, my whole childhood is actually imprisonment. Lor. Outside, I can say we can be how big we are, lah. But inside, you have like no right at all. Hello, my name is Kevin. I'm 42 this year. I'm the owner of Earn Live Seafood Restaurant. Uh, so our specialty is actually uh, selling like live seafood zi ta. So currently our, we are at our new outlet, 7 Keppel Road, uh, PSA Complex. Okay, one of our signature here is crab. Our top choices a lot of customers like to eat was black pepper. Then second is the chili crab. Uh. So because normally we use uh, live crab, without people pre-order, we seldom take a lot of crab. So I, we want to give customer that the freshness and good meat for the crab. Uh. So second one will be our yu tou lu. Uh, we make it into like you can get the whole fish or fish head or fish slice. So our fish head steamboat right, don't have MSG. Uh. So the third one is one of the hot selling one, jiao yan xia, pepper salt prawn. A lot of people also like our pepper salt prawn because it's actually xiang si yao hen cui. So the last one uh, is like for kids. Adult also can eat one salted egg brinjal, xian tan qie zi la. It's also one of our customer must order la. Because I like to eat, I will cook at home also la. Yeah, and my wife like my cooking oh. When I was young, I was always going to the restaurant with my dad. Cause my dad is actually used to be a chef in one of the Singapore OO restaurant ah. So I like to see, I like to learn, I like to cook oh. During COVID, we are actually uh, selling frozen seafood. We help a lot of like zi cha store gain a lot of uh, business. But when it comes to money, I can tell you, no one will take care of you one. So after when they get the business, they kick me off. Lor. So me and my wife decided to set up a business lah, to do our own zi cha, we fly seafood. Actually, I come from a very, very normal family, which actually not a well-doing family. Lah. Because I'm the eldest in the uh, family, and I got two younger brothers. So my parents actually work very hard to actually to give us the best. Lah. When we are young, right? Not like now, all the kids that have fancy toy or all this stuff. Even last time when we want to just get one toy, we have to get one to share with three of them. So from young, I actually trying very hard to actually find my way to get what I, what I need, what I want. Because I know that my father and mother uh, can't afford it. Uh. So my first job in my life was working in McDonald's. At that point of time, the McDonald's, one hour only $2.30. Maybe at that time, uh, when I was 14, it's very good. Uh. Because one day got extra money like 20 30 dollars because it's a part-time job. La. What happened after that? I feel that the money starts to not enough because I mixed with some bad company. So we start to riding around, not going home, start smoking. So when you start smoking, you feel that the 20 dollars is actually not enough for you because you need to buy cigarettes. So at the period of time, my friend intro me into a sideline which I can earn around 80 to 100 dollars in two to three hours. Ah. So I went into uh, selling pirated VCD. So we only actually just pull the cloth like this, uh, something like this, then put all the VCD on it. So per piece we are selling at 10 dollars. Ah. So for like three hours we earn 80, uh, 80 dollars to 100 dollars. Ah. So to me 80 dollars to 100 dollars is really a lot. Actually I dropped off school in set two because for me I feel that three person study my parents will not be affordable lah. So I choose to quit the school lor. When I start to join those like so-called members, secret society lah. So we start to know that the more power you have, you have more people. I have a leadership. I feel I want to be a leader. So I start to like riding around, keeping some member under me. So at the period of time, we want our name to be hot. So we went a lot into fight. So some, some people from other gang, they come down to our place. We were start fighting or we go to other people's place, people will fight with us. Lah. So when I was 15, uh, I was caught rioting. So I was sent to boys home. When I went to the boys home, I did escorted from the boys home. That means uh, I hit the officer and I ran off from boys home. Lah. Total of my imprisonment was 11 years. I went to boys home, I went to RTC, I went to uh, Changi prison, I went to Tanamera prison and I went to DRC also. It's quite a fast rehab. Ah. My whole childhood is actually imprisonment. Lor. Outside, I can say we can be how big we are, lah, but inside, you have like no right at all because you are wearing white t shirt. So, everything we do, we have to listen to the blue wall. Actually, until now, lah, I still feel that I'm more closer to my mom. Lor. For this imprisonment 11 years, in out, in out, she's always the one that actually non stop, lah. raining, heavy rain, and all this stuff. Lah. She come to visit me. Sometimes, even we have nothing to talk. We will just uh, sit out there and fish, see each other. Lor. 
So after my imprisonment, I come out, I see a lot of my friends actually start to have their family and doing quite well, driving car and all this stuff. So at the period of time, I'm just a salesman, which actually earning a few K a month. Uh. So be it, I feel that uh, not enough and I feel envy of some of my friends that actually together with me. So uh, I'm thinking of how to get more faster money. Suddenly, just a period of time when I'm thinking of this, some of my partners that intro me into gamble. Okay, I did win a lot before. Okay, I used to win uh, 220k in one night, and I strike 4D, 300k, 400k, but I lost 1.5 mil in less than a year. I owe a lot of people money, even loan sharp and all this stuff. Lah. That was the most down period that actually I've been through lah, because my wife just gave birth to my first daughter and actually a lot of people is looking for me so I went around running around in Singapore to hide here and then not don't dare to go home lah. so actually my wife gave me the support lor. he say this one a pass ready is a pass ready lor. you have to stand up to how to face it and so we actually went to a, a service center that actually helped to quit gamble lah. Uh, from there I start to stop all the stuff my wife is my mentally support a lot to be honest I feel appreciated to have her in my life lah. she's younger than me 14 years old she used to be with me when I have whatever I want but also stay with me with the down point with I have nothing left actually for me the motivation is actually my three daughters lor. because no matter how I was a ex-prisoner I want them to be good or want to prove to them that their dad is a turnover person lor. the reason why I name my shop as Earn Life Seafood because Earn in Chinese is uh, Gan Earn la. so I'm very blessed that actually uh, my family and my wife is actually still supporting me so I want to let myself know that I want to earn what I have now I cannot give up so easily la. so that's why actually I also name my three daughters all name have earned also la. what words that I want to share is the determination and your mindset because some of them they actually they lost of confidence because they have went inside and they used to the life inside. Okay, this is my experience that actually we saw inside like, those un, uh, old people and all this stuff. Like, and some people keep on going back like seven times in prison, eight times in prison because they actually lack of like uh, love, care and people to communicate with lah. So for those like ex-prisoners, like, I think they really need some friends that actually can talk to or family can talk to to be with them lah.